Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making um, something called Bouche de Noël or Bouche de Noël um, Vanille. So it's a vanilla um, Yule log type thing. So a type of Swiss roll filled with um, a vanilla buttercream and buttercream on the outside. This was requested by somebody called Dana or Dana 75 I haven't done this sort of thing before, so it's a first for me. I hope it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't, but we'll give it a try anyway. And so um, for that, I have my oven preheating to make a, a thin layer of uh, a type of jacon sponge uh, at uh, 230 Celsius, 210 Celsius with a fan, 450 Fahrenheit. And I've lined a 17 by 12 inch which is 43 by 30 centimetre baking tray uh, with uh, parchment paper. So I've greased the tray, I've put the parchment paper on, then I've greased the parchment paper and sprinkled it with flour as well, uh, just to help it release the sponge later. So that's already prepared. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for the sponge, I have um, 35 grams which is a third of a cup of ground almonds, 30 grams, which is about three tablespoons of plain flour, I have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, then I have two medium eggs, that's the whole eggs, that would be large in the USA, then I have three medium egg yolks, again large in the USA, and I have two medium egg whites, large in the USA. I also have um, a teaspoon of vanilla, quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Then I have 113 grams which is half a, half a cup plus one tablespoon of sugar. About a hundred grams will go into the sponge and um, the uh, tablespoon will be used to whisk into the egg whites later. So uh, for the buttercream, I have 100 millilitres, which is um, half a cup minus four tablespoons of um, milk. I have 280 grams, which is um, two sticks plus four tablespoons of butter at room temperature. I have three uh, medium egg yolks, which would be large in the USA, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and 100 grams, half a cup of sugar. So for the time being, I'll put the uh, buttercream ingredients to the side. And uh, we're going to start off with a stand mixer. You could do it with a hand mixer. You could do it by hand, but it's much easier with a stand mixer. And into that, I'm going to put the two medium eggs and uh, the th three medium egg yolks and I'm going to put about a hundred grams of the sugar. And I'm going to whisk these together um, and as they're thickening I'm going to add my teaspoon of vanilla extract as well. I'm going to whisk them together until they're nice and thick. They go, they go pale and they're a nice thick ribbony texture. Now as you can see that's a nice thick texture and it slowly falls off the, the whisk. So I'm actually going to transfer that to another bowl um, just for ease of um, working really because what we need to do now is to fold in um, the almond uh, ground almonds and the um, flour and the salt.
So I'm actually going to sift those ingredients. The almonds, the flour and the salt into the mixture. And then I'm just going to fold that in until it's combined, trying to do it without knocking out the air that we've put into those beaten eggs. So that's good. So I'm going to set that to one side. And the next thing I'm going to do is to um, whisk our egg whites until they they achieve fairly stiff peaks. Maybe not completely stiff, but fairly stiff peaks. And I'm going to use my hand whisk for that. You could use the stand mixer again. So I'm going to add in to the egg whites a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. That's going to help stabilise the egg whites. And then um, once they reach soft peaks, I'm going to put in my sugar as well, the, the remaining 13 grams of sugar. So that's a sort of soft peak stage, so I'm going to continue to, to mix, adding the sugar until the, uh, the egg whites stiffen up. So that is a, a, a reasonably stiff peak uh, mixture there, so um, that's as far as I'm going to go. What I'm going to do then is to um, take a little bit of that egg white and mix it into our batter which will just loosen the batter up just a little bit and then I'm going to put the rest in and fold that in. Just gently fold it in so we don't knock the air out. And I'm going to mix that until I don't see streaks of egg white. And I think that actually looks about right. So what I'm going to do then is to take my floured baking tray and I'm going to pour this mixture into it. And I'm going to have to level this out, so...
and for that I'm going to use my large offset spatula to try to get this as level as I can and with that fairly level I think that's almost as good as I'm likely to get it I'm going to put that into my preheated oven and I'm going to bake that for six to seven minutes until I can see that it's fully baked then I will take it out and as soon as I take it out I'll be back with you to show you the next step so this is um, our sponge and it has baked it looks fine and so I'm just going to check that it comes away from the edge there yep that looks fine And so what I want to do now is to tip that out onto a floured um, tea towel. So here I have a, a tea towel on my wire rack which I have floured. And I'm just going to, sorry, not flour, icing sugar. I've, cut, I've dusted it with icing sugar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try without making too much mess to tip this over onto the, the sponge like that and then I'm going to turn it up the other way without the wire rack like that and remove the paper which should come off reasonably easily just like that So I'm just checking that I've got that floured there. I, I, oh, I need to put a bit more sugar over this side here just to stop it. From sticking. So then what I want to do is to roll this up. And I'm going to roll it. fairly loosely, it doesn't have to be tight just like that and then I'm going to stand that on the wire rack and allow it to cool down completely and while it's cooling down completely we'll get on and we'll make our buttercream I've just unwrapped the sponge again because I forgot to tell you that I wanted to ice the top side as well dust the top side as well with icing sugar um, this is all as a measure to prevent it sticking as it, when it's rolled up and it, once it, it um, cools down so I roll that back up and rest it as I said until it's cooled down so to make the buttercream we make a sort of custard and then we beat butter into it and I've already done the ingredients for you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the milk until it's 
not quite but it's almost boiling and um, I will heat that ready to pour into the beaten egg yolks and the sugar so I put the heat put the heat on very low keeping an eye on it and while that's heating through I'm going to whisk the egg yolks with my hand mixer again and I'm going to add the vanilla extract as well so my milk is just about to boil so I'm going to uh, mix that in dripping it slowly at first into the egg yolk and sugar spilling some in the process so that's mixed in So what I want to do now is to um, put that mixture back into the saucepan and put it back on the heat and I'm going to stir it the whole time until it begins to thicken you don't need to see me doing that I don't think um, but I will show you the result once I've I've done it so our uh, eggs and milk custard um, came up to the boil and I let it boil for a few seconds stirring all the time then I've tipped it into this bowl I want it to cool down and then we're going to mix the butter into it so this is now cooled down and I'm going to put the butter in and I'm going to beat it with my paddle attachment until we have a nice thick custardy buttercream. I've mixed our buttercream and it's all nicely combined and it's thickened up a little bit but it's still nice and spreadable so what I want to do I'm going to put that into a bowl and I'm going to chill it for a few minutes until it thickens up a little bit more And then it will be ready to put onto our um, cooled uh, jacon sponge. So I've let our uh, custard buttercream set uh, a little bit, maybe 15 minutes, and I've um, taken our cooled down cake. So I, I need to unroll that, and hopefully it will unroll fairly easily.
and then I need to take um, some of the custard buttercream and spread it evenly over. I don't want to spread it too thick. Just like that. And then I'm going to take take this end I think and roll it up hopefully avoiding it sticking to my towel it's not too bad like that and then I'm going to put it onto a board and I'm going to put some parchment paper on either side so that I can cover the whole thing in the, the buttercream and I'm going to spread the remainder of the buttercream over the roll again as evenly as I can down the sides of course as well and with that spread fairly evenly I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to drag it lightly over the top and the sides and then I'm going to chill that so that it sets ready to cut and once it's chilled it can be lifted of course and put onto a presentation plate so what I'm going to do just as um, for a bit of extra presentation is to put some little flowers on like that and then when it's set I'll cut the ends off and it will be ready to present. So I'll be back with you uh, when this has firmed up a little bit. So I let the, uh, the log, the, the Bouche de Noël um, chill for maybe about an hour actually and I've taken it out and I've cut it so this is what it looks like on the inside and I've, uh, I'll just take this one slice and I'll have a taste of it. It does taste very, very good. I can taste the vanilla. If anything, I might have put just a little bit more vanilla in because um, I, lo I love the flavour but you could add things like almond extract, orange extract, lemon extract for instance any of those uh, would uh, give a very nice flavour as well and uh, you could also if you wanted to uh, put a thin layer of something like raspberry jam on the sponge before you put the buttercream on top 
So there's any number of things you can do. And of course, the decorations that you can do um, would be whatever you want. You could create some chocolate or some nuts or whatever. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there will be an eye that you can click on, which will take you to this recipe. And I'll put a link below the video as well. And then I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.